Rick Singer leaving a Boston federal court today after pleading guilty. He once ran a college prep business in the Sacramento area and established a worldwide foundation which falsely claimed to be a charity. When in fact he was taking in two to four hundred grand each time he helped a parent get their kid into their school of choice. CBS 13 investigative reporter Julie Watts has been digging deeper into Singer's Sacramento connection as well as two others implicated. She's live downtown where those people were charged in federal court today. Julie. Yeah, you know, Singer had at least two local employees who live in Folsom. Both were arraigned here, as you mentioned, in federal court today. They're expected to be released later this evening. But Singer's ties here date back decades. We've confirmed he was a guest teacher at Rio Americano back in the 80s, as well as a basketball coach at Encina. He reportedly started his first college counseling business in Sacramento in the early 90s and started his current business, known as Key Worldwide, in 2007. We found a 2014 edition of the Granite Bay Gazette, where students from Granite Bay High said, Singer's praises, saying he helped them in preparation for the SAT and through the whole recruiting process. Sources inside Granite Bay High School tell me he was a well known college counselor there who offered services, including revising college essays, though we should specify he didn't work for the school, he just offered services to students at the school. They say he provided similar services to students at prestigious schools across the area and have no reason to believe any local students were aware of any illegal activity. The company's website boasts a college counseling program that begins as early as freshman year with a special talent program that ranges from assistance and contacting and generating interest from colleges to assembling portfolios and athletic resumes. Now that's what one of Singer's local employees is accused of. Michaela Sanford appeared alongside Singer's accountant Steve Macera in court today. She's accused of fabricating records for college applications and taking online classes in the students' names. Macera is accused of collecting money from parents disguised as charitable donations, then using them as bribes for test administrators. Now, there is certainly concern among many in the community who may have used his services that even those folks who had no knowledge of any illegal activity may face a sort of stigma now if they've ever used Singer services. You can certainly understand that concern. Julie, did Singer by chance have a physical business here in Sacramento? Well, he did, at least according to public records. Both of the Folsom employees were employed by a company called Edge in association with Key, the company that was based out of Southern California. Uh, Edge does have, according to public records, a business here at American River Drive, though when we went to that location today, we were told the current business there has been there for years. According to public records, it was registered there as recently as 2018. All right, thanks for doing the digging on this, Julie. We'll see you soon.